Alright, what's going on guys at Yash Reloaded? This is Ben or Amp Benji and today I'm bringing you guys another awesome episode of Amp Fridays brought to you by Squid Grips. Be sure to check the description for a link to the website and you can use the word Yash as a discount code for all purchases there. So that's pretty awesome, but yeah anyways guys, let's get on with the gameplay. This is a 41 to 3 gameplay using the Peacekeeper uh, on the map high John. You might be thinking, Ben, come on, this is Amp Fridays one about. We want to see some 200 plus awesomeness. Guys, I forgot to mention, this is on 6v6 Team Deathmatch on the new map Hydra with the new gun. This is incredible, and this was actually brought to you guys by Amp and Real. And uh, oh my god, this gameplay, this awesomeness is just awesome. Yeah, I know, right? That makes a whole lot of sense. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, he actually runs around with Peacekeeper, and I don't think he actually used it too much. Uh, I think it was actually a low level, so you know, this was pretty much a new gun to him. And I, I for one, have actually used this gun a fair bit. The damage on this gun is actually pretty low, however the rate of fire kind of counters that because it is deadly up close. You can drop people within like half seconds, you know, it, it kills people extremely fast. So, once again, if you actually use this as an SMG, it will work extremely effectively. However, one of the best parts about this gun is it's got almost no recoil. It's one of the, you know, it's like pretty much the MP7 with a smaller magazine. And, um... This gun is incredible. You might see the reload time and think, oh my god, that's so slow. However, one thing uh, I don't think Amp and Real actually knew about this gun is you can actually cancel the reload dramatically. As soon as the magazine comes back out to come it, uh, to put it back in, if you sprint with Dexterity on, you can pull up your gun a lot faster. And Dexterity is one of the best Russian perks in this game. So, you know, if you're not running Dexterity, you're already at a disadvantage. But this gun is actually incredible because although it's deadly at close, it's an SMG, it's got high rate fire, it's going to be deadly at close. But the main thing that separates this from most SMGs is the fact that it's an assault rifle hybrid, which basically means at range this gun can kill, and it can kill pretty fast compared to the other ones. I do warn you guys though, at the moment, pretty much everyone's going to be using this gun or everyone's going to be buying it since it's Friday and then, you know, some of the little kiddies will go on and try this gun out. Uh, they won't have an espresso on, they, they won't have an espresso on, they won't have this gun suppressed basically, which means that it's going to have a lot more power on it than, say, this gun with espresso on. So... For the time being, unless, you know, once this starts dying down and people start going back to the PDWs and everything like that, uh, I would highly recommend not having a suppressor on and maybe run non-lethals like counter UAV, uh, VSAT, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so, that's my tips for you guys who are just buying this DLC at the moment. Uh, there's a whole DLC playlist for you guys who want to try the maps out, which is actually a lot of fun. However, the downside to it is there's a lot of triads in it, or a lot of people who have, you know, the similar skill set to you, uh, which is which kind of makes this gameplay even more impressive that Amp and Real actually got this in the game type. Once people start realising the PDW is a better gun, which it is, I mean, I'm not going to lie, this gun isn't as good as, and it isn't as high calibre as those guns. Uh, once people start staying away from this gun, then you can actually use it a bit more. Add suppressor on there, whack on uh, extended mags, and it'll be good to go. Trust me, it'll feel like the baby ACR from Modern Warfare 2. So that kind of means that it's not as overpowered, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to use. Uh, the next part of this commentary is how to play Hydra, and uh, in particular how to play Hydra on Kill Confirmed, or Domination, Ground War, that kind of thing. Uh, because I know actually a lot of you guys are, you know, kill hard yourself and try to go for gameplays. So my first tip for this map is B is key. That's pretty much the main thing you have to go by in this map. As soon as you capture the B flag, you can run into their spawn, do a little bit of a circle, and just pick off guys with your gun. And uh, because, you know, you might be using a new uh, DLC gun, and you might have it unsuppressed, and you might have, like, non-lethals on, then that means it's pretty easy to get nuclears at the moment, because also on top of this map, uh, on top of this map, on top of that, uh, this map has a lot of levels, so you can just jump over people, take them by surprise. And overall, there's a lot of jump spots, and it's extremely exciting for gun and gun play as you'll see in this gameplay. My next tip is actually look both ways before crossing because if you didn't know one special thing about this map is actually that water flows through it and if you go in that water then you will be killed. I mean there's no two ways about it. On top of that it's kind of like a dark area so people might shoot you and camp around there so you know make sure that it's clear before you cross. Sometimes when playing this map, you just want to take the scenic route because honestly, if you just go straight to the enemy, it's not that good sometimes. Sometimes you might have to flank or sometimes you might have to take a different approach. My final tip is actually to tell you guys to run laps around the map, run in circles around the map, stay away from the middle, because it's just a death trap, so many head glitches, so many snipers, just stay away from there, you were better off without it. Just before the gameplay comes to an end, I would just like to say that this commentary might not have been the most amazing thing you've ever heard. However, I did give out some solid tips, so if you implement this into your Call of Duty game, then you will pretty much definitely improve. Uh, the other thing I would like to mention is that on my personal channel, uh, which I would be ever so grateful if you actually visited, um, I talk, you know, less formal, I just talk down to earth and just talk about thoughts in my mind, so... 
Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave it a like. Check out my channel, Amp Clans and Unreals. The link will be in the description. Have a nice day. See ya.